Welcome everyone to this edition of Looking at Louisville. I'm Zach. And I'm Krista. And we're here at Kentucky Peerless Distilling. And we're going to check out this wonderful new bourbon tourist attraction. That's right, Krista. You know, it's part of this urban bourbon experience that is coming alive in downtown Louisville. Tons of things to do and just a great ways to experience the bourbon heritage that is uh, Kentucky. Yeah, so we're going to take this tour. Then we're going to go to lunch at Over the Nine and then cap off the day at the new Jim Beam Urban Stillhouse at 4th Street Lab. Well, let's do it. I'm here with Carson Taylor, the president of Kentucky Peerless Distilling Company. Carson, tell us a little bit about what a visitor is going to experience when they come here. When you come down to Peerless Distillery, we're uh, down on 10th and Main Street in downtown Louisville. Uh, you'll see a full grain to bottle distillery you can take a tour of. You see uh, we mill our own grain, cook it, ferment it, distill it, barrel it, and bottle it right here in-house. Uh, full tasting room, you get to uh, taste our product at the end and uh, full retail space. Uh, everybody that works here swung a hammer to build this distillery, so it means a lot to us and it means a lot to uh, what we're putting in the bottle. And Carson, tell us a little bit about this product behind us here. Uh, right now we have Lucky Moonshine. Uh, we have to wait for our uh, bourbon uh, for four years and our rye will be ready in two years. So right now we have Lucky Moonshine, seven different flavors that are on the shelf uh, here in Kentucky and uh, seven states uh, surrounding. Well, we've landed here at Over the Nine, just about one block up from the Kentucky Peerless Distillery, and we had a great meal, didn't we, Crystal? We did. We started off with the lamb nachos and the mashed potato balls. Then we had some great sandwiches, including the tuna with the teriyaki glaze. We also had the pastrami sandwich and the meatball sandwich with the um, delicious carrots with the bourbon mm. glaze. And we capped off the lunch with the chocolate mousse. Chocolate mousse. Traditional chocolate mousse. It was a great experience here. Um, this is home to Fall City Beer and Old 502, Old 502 Winery, so there's a ton to do here. It was a great meal. And now we're off to the next stop, the Jim Beam Urban Stillhouse at 4th Street Lab. Well, here at the Urban Stillhouse, uh, people, I guess, are actually walking into an operating distillery. Uh, we have an 80-gallon still actually exposed to the street, so guests can come in, they can actually check that out. Um, in addition to the distillery itself, we have a bottling line here, so people can come in, they can essentially build their own bottle. Put the label, the, the uh, medallion on the bottle, walk over, fill their bottle up with a product that we actually only, avail only um, allow only available here, only right? available here yep. in the urban still house. So it's a 100 proof non-chill filtered bourbon. Um, really fun thing, and we also have the ability to engrave their name on the bottle, a lot of cool stuff like oh, that. Oh, cool. Um, we have the retail space in here, and then in the back we have a tasting bar. So ah. guests can come in once a day, get a free tasting, try four of our products. Um, really a lot of fun. So. Well, Patrick, I know one of my favorite spots was this interactive area in front of the TV back there. I think my, I even put my face on a bottle with the name. It was really a unique way to come up with the bottle. So. Tell me about that. Everyone can come and do that? Absolutely. Uh, whenever guests walk in, there's a touch screen where essentially um, they can have their face put onto a bottle of Jim Beam White Label. Um, on a typical bottle, there would be the seven generations of master distillers um, in the Beam family. You can actually put yours right at the bottom, so you can essentially join the family. So what a great experience. Um, very easy to come in and do as a visitor, and uh, just, a, just a great way to end the day. So if you'd like more information on anything in this podcast, you can visit us at gotolouisville.com. You can send us an email at podcast at gotolouisville.com. And you can find us all over social media on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. So as always, you're looking at Louisville. We'll see you next time. I mean, we had a great meal, didn't we? We did. We had some great appetizers. We had the mashed potato balls and the lamb nachos. And then we had some great entrees. And I'm going to read now, right? <laughs> Don't say I'm going to read now. You said, you said we made.